Hello everyone and welcome back to Neoberg. In this episode we are going to be splitting out our interlinking lines so hopefully this will make them a lot more efficient. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and grab the name, the naming convention that we've got. So that will at least allow us to set up the train lines a little bit quicker. So I'm going to start by making sure that this is on the correct train um, stop. So we want it on number five because we're going in a clockwise direction. We might as well start out alphabetically. So going through boxcar, gondola, flat car, and tank car. So boxcar don't need to drop off anything there. They do need to drop off something here. The, this one's not connected up, so we'll just skip it for now. This one's not connected up, so we'll skip it for now. Boxcar doesn't need to stop anything there. But it does here because we've got goods and also plastic coming through here. So um, either one of those may well get used. So we'll have it stop there. We'll have it stop here because it may well pick up some food. Um, here we just have coal really connected up. I know it's got a number of other things. Just ignore those because that's what the um, two lines have brought through. For some reason it's... It does that sometimes. It will send things one way to come back, and it's a little bit bizarre. Um, boxcar doesn't need to stop here because even though we've got tools here, again, I don't think it's necessarily being picked up from here. But um, we do have a tools factory here, so we might as well stop it here. It doesn't need to pick anything up there, but it does need to pick up stuff here. So we've got tools and machines here. Um, so we need to stop there and then that's all of the gondola lines or sorry <laughs> the uh, boxcar lines set up so we'll call that one boxcar so starting the next one we'll go to gondola or flat side state car I mean um, so flat cars, flat car with side stakes needs to stop there. It doesn't currently have to stop there. It doesn't currently have to stop there. It does have to stop here. I don't think it needs to stop here. Um, it may have certain things there which needs it, but again, I think it's just being dropped off on the way through from other things. So it does need to stop there. Potentially needs to stop here. It may need to stop here. Here. And here. So that's a flat car with side stakes. Truth be told, I have already tried to um, do this one, and uh, I had a bit of an error, so I had to um, restart the episode. So I know that you can't write the with side stakes bit, so we'll just leave that bit out. The reason we're starting from um, Burglar Marsh is because it's got stuff for flat cars, sorry, for box cars, for tank cars, for flat cars, and also for. Um, gondola lines so everything's needed at burglar marsh so we'll move on to the next one we'll put in a gondola line from here it'll come up here it will need to drop off here it will need to drop off here as well nothing's currently set up here so we'll just ignore that one it may need to pick up here it may need to pick up here it may need to pick up from here and here and here <laughs> all of these need them uh, this one does not though because we don't actually have any gondola lines going down there just at the moment it may need to stop there it doesn't currently have to stop there but it may need to stop here and it will need to stop here so that's our gondola line. Gondola. So the last one for 
clockwise at least is um, tank cars. So tank cars don't need to stop there. They don't need to stop there. They don't need to stop anywhere here, but they may need to stop here. And then they may need to stop here. Uh, they don't need to stop there, I don't think. Although we might have, yes, they might need to stop because they might have um, crude oil come up on the yellow line there. They may need to stop here. They don't currently have to stop there and they may need to stop here. And they do have to stop here. And they do need to stop here. So that's the tank car one all set up. So now if we check our lines here, uh, bearing in mind we've got a lot of lines, if we check the interlinking lines, we've got box car, flat car, gondola car and tank car. And these are all going um, counterclockwise. So if we go into our counterclockwise all line, which is going to be replaced by this, um, we can move these over to where they're needed. So this would be going to the interlinking box car. These will be going over to the interlinking gondola car. And this one for the flat car this one for the tank car. So that's all of the um, count, uh, clockwise lines for um, these particular things. So now we just need to uh, set up the counterclockwise lines. So if we grab that naming counterclockwise and then we need to put in a line here. We need to make sure that it's on the right uh, stop. So we'll put it onto number six. Again, we'll be doing box car, flat car, gondola. And then, um, so this doesn't need a box car. This may need a box car. This does not need a box car. This may need a box car. This does not need a box car. This may need a box car. This may need a box car. This one does not need box cars. Nor does that one. Nor does that one. But this one does. And then this one does not need box cars. So that is the box car line. So uh, if we zoom in here, we can turn that into box car. There we go. And now we move on to flat car. So make sure that's on number six. And it's got to come through. Flat car will be needed here. Flat car will be needed here. Flat car may be needed here for the uh, tools. And here. And here for the bricks. It will not be needed here for coal. Um, it may be in time when we need to set up the... Um, other lines that are here, but currently it doesn't need it, so we'll remove it. Um, down here, it does not need box car. Uh, yeah, it may need box car actually. Thinking about it, is it box car that we're doing? No, we've done box car. Surely, hold on, I'm getting confused. Confusing myself here. Uh, we've done box car. So this would be flat car. So no, flat car is not needed here. It will be needed there, but not there. 
I'm glad I double checked now, but it will be needed here. Not currently needed there, not needed there, not needed there. It may be needed here. And then that's the entire route. This does not need it. And then down here is Burgle Marsh, where we started. So um, that would be interlink flat car counterclockwise. And then if we do number six, going around this way. So this is for gondola. Gondola is needed here. It's definitely needed here. It's not currently needed there. It may be needed here. It's not needed here, although it might do in the future if we connect things up. It is needed here because coal's connected here. It may be needed here for the grain. It will be needed here for the stone. Uh, this one has ore. This one has grain. Quite a few of them need the gondolas. This one needs it. This one needs it. So gondola line quite busy. Now we just have the last train line to put in, that's tank car. I'm going to seize. <laughs> Bless me. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so we know that here and here we need um, the tank cars. Here we'll need dank cars. We won't need them there. We might need them here. We won't need them here. We won't need them there, but we will need them here. Down here we'll definitely need them. Over here we don't need them yet. Down there we don't need them. Down there we don't, oh no actually. There is a oil refinery right there, so we do need them. Not there, and then that's that's the lot for tank car. There we go. So we just need to go onto the counterclockwise line, and then make sure that these go on the right one. So the counterclockwise box car. The counterclockwise gondola, the counterclockwise flat car, and the counterclockwise tank car. So now, if we just double check, these two do not have any. Whereas these have two each, these have two each, these have two each, and these have two each. Right. So now we're going to see a lot of this going. Uh, in fact, we don't need that anymore. So I'm going to remove these lines. So hopefully all of that stuff's going to go onto the individual lines, which it looks like it is, and um, it's going to be split out dependent on um, what trains are going through, which is good because that's pretty much exactly how we need it. So if we look up here, we've got some train lines that go straight through. The gondola lines will be actually stopping at this train station. So it's already having an effect here, the um, boxcars going straight through, staying at 80 odd miles an hour, and um, the 
gondola lines will be overtaken if they're stopped there to um, pick up some stuff. So that's good. Definitely looks like the um, traffic is one of these. There we go. Um, somewhat relaxed. I mean, not through here. Ah, it must be because it's a large stop here. It's a large uh, road going through a large road. So we've got tra uh, traffic stops here. Traffic lights. Which must be stopping everything from going through. So hopefully, at least, these trains will start to make a little bit more money now that we um, have swapped them over to their own individual lines. We'll need to keep an eye on them, and it may well be that they're still not making that much money, which would be very unfortunate because I don't know what we can do more than what we've already done <laughs> um, to try and... Uh, make it a little bit more efficient. These boxcar trains are very long. How long are they? 699 meters long. Wow. At least splitting it out helps show where stuff is going. So if we were to expand this, can we expand it? No, we can't. That's a shame. Um, so we can see that the boxcar one going clockwise is not actually taking that much stuff, which is annoying because we want it to take more stuff that way. Um, but it is, it is what it is. Uh, the counterclockwise line has nothing on it. It might be because we've just had a box car come through. So are these still... Yeah, these are going to Alfred, so they're not going to number one. Which is good, because if they did, then... It may be quite a while before I start to make some money. Why are these trucks spending so long here? It should be set to 30 seconds. All of these should be. So let them wait for 30 seconds and then it should be going straight through. To be fair, we've got quite a lot of cargo for it to actually take into the city, so that's a good thing. Maybe the tools are slowly making their way down. Oh, 
only nine fuel. It might also help us identify which ones are the most expensive out of these interlinking connections. Hopefully this is getting more of its supplies through, albeit there's a lot of them. Good, most of them's coming from here. Is a lot of crude oil. That is a lot of crude oil. But here we see the pass through lines working quite efficiently. So we've got the flat car with side stakes going straight through and then the tank car that's had to stop uh, it's gonna have to wait a little bit here but then it should be able to get going after that's made its way through but the flat car with side stakes has been able to keep moving at 99 miles an hour all the way through that section. So hopefully it means that it's effectively a little bit more efficient. Especially where it's um, pretty full. I mean, it's got a lot of bricks. It's not got many other things, annoyingly. These are all waiting for three minutes as well. Why do we have them set to three minutes? Oh, that's 30 seconds. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. 30 seconds. So it may just be that line needs more vehicles. We've got a lot of uh, lines going into Burglar Marsh from this area, so that may be why it's quite busy. In fact, it might be nice to have it come down this way rather than going in through here. Ooh, that seems wrong. There we go. Fix that problem. These are fairly busy. <laughs> These um, trams aren't taking any prisoners. They're going straight through. In fact, this probably should be traffic lighted. <laughs> just to make sure that stuff does flow when it can.
but wouldn't you look at that we've actually made some money I don't believe it surely not making that one change has caused us to actually make money off of those lines I mean, it's looking pretty good. It's going to take him a little bit of time to um, properly bring stuff through. But wouldn't you look at that? We are actually making a decent amount of money from it. I think we might put a few more vehicles on this one. We'll just put two on for now, because... It's quite rare that we're making money this uh, at the moment. So where does that line go in? It goes in down here. Yeah, so if we had it come in at the back here, that could help with a lot of the um, traffic going through. So, Burglar Marsh, this line, half to there, goes through there. That should... Oh, hang on, that's the wrong one. That one, there we go. And then this one, half to that, goes through there. See, we don't want you to just go... Ah, I see, so it's quite... Hmm direct a line actually uh, okay maybe don't do that let's take that out mm. what about this line where does this line go so this line goes into the city again quite a direct line what about these ones We could probably have them come out this direction. And that might help things down here because this is just so busy. Right, so that line. That's the wrong line. <laughs> um, this line needs to go out that way. And then I wonder whether it would be beneficial for it to come back this way as well. That's for this one. Should be another cargo here. There we go. Why are you going on this? <laughs> Just go straight through here. Um, or even better, go out this way. Down to here. It's a little bit frustrating. Ah, we can't actually view it from there. Or there. Okay. Um, so that now goes out that way. It just comes back through here. So hopefully that's a little bit better for it.
Isn't there another one around here? So we've got that one there, which is quite direct. This one here, which goes out that way. Ah, this one. To be fair, that's pretty direct into the city. So, I don't think it really needs changing up. Although all of these lines going down this way seems to be causing a bit of an issue. Perhaps we just need to remove... Remove these um, traffic lights altogether and then it should start to come through. We don't want them there, there, or there. It's slowly working its way through. Also, can we just acknowledge, like, we have been making a little bit of money. Um, so the ones that aren't making money, the flat car lines and in some ways the gondola lines flat car lines, surely they'd be taking bricks to where they need to go, so I don't understand why they're not making that much money. But it's a lot better than it was. hell of a lot better. Hopefully this starts to get moving. I'm not too sure what else we can do to improve this maybe if we upgrade the road here I mean it's a bit of a sh oh we don't have enough money <laughs> it's a bit of a uh, hope rather than a um, I know this will fix it Maybe we need to move things away from this bottleneck. Bring things out this way, for example. That might help it. What is this line? Line for Southwold. Oh, really? This line's not making money. 
That's bizarre, it used to. Maybe it's because a lot more comes through this way. I think that must be it. So if we maybe sold some of the empty trains. Like this one. this one then maybe we'll start to make a little bit more money off of those lines we can hope and you know what we're actually making money again I don't believe it <laughs> um, so let's try upgrading these roads through here it may do what's needed construction not possible why is that? These ones are the larger roads, so we'll just upgrade that bit. Um, maybe if we take out that, we can upgrade this. Yes, we can. So we'll see how that works. It may well help keep things moving. Or it might just ruin everything. <laughs> you never know. Um, the these shouldn't be here. Like these are pretty useless. Let's change this up a little bit. Oh, we've just lost all the money. When we can, we'll take that out. Um. And move it over here so that it's going down this way rather than the other way. So now, for example, put in a stop here and then we will move this to this one here. So number two and number three. Are removed. And in this case, number six and seven are moved over here. So that will reduce stuff going through this area and hopefully help um, keep things moving a little bit more. And we can remove these because they're in a really bad place. Just logistically, they're bad. So we'll see how that goes. Potentially that going to number one would be better then it's going around that way is there any other lines here that we can in fact what are all these trains this oh sorry hang on if we go into here If we go down to the depots, do we have any other vehicles just waiting? Well, actually, these ones could go on to the busy line here. Oh, no, actually, there isn't a busy line. Let's just sell these vehicles. If we haven't used them by now, we're not going to use them. So, we've got a lot of lines coming down here, so is there anything that we can do to reduce 
the number of lines coming down this way. So we've got cargo lines, we've got public transport lines. So this goes around this section. Oh, this is a circular line, isn't it? Um, we potentially could actually have that come out a different way. So number seven, it could come back through here and then we could take it out this way. So if we put in a waypoint here and a waypoint here, then after that one, it could go out here and on the way back, It could come in this way. So that might prevent it from going through this bit. Um, so we should do the same with the other line. So it goes through here. Ah, uh, yeah. So on the way out, it goes through this way. And then on the way back, it goes through here. What else is here that doesn't need to be? Well, this one over here. very well go through this way. So after Burg Marsh it currently goes through Yeah, it comes through here and then goes up that way. Why doesn't it go out that way? And in fact, why haven't we upgraded these roads? so many roads to upgrade in Burglar Marsh. It's bananas. I'd have thought all of these would be upgraded by now. What is happening here?
let's take this out and do a road through from here, connecting in there, which will replace it. Interestingly, that's completely changed the way that that goes out that way. So it goes through this direction, which is nice. Um, right, what else can be reduced from here? So that one can't be. That one, I'll be honest, I don't see how we can... Right, so it's these pink and purple lines. So again, this is for this quadrant over here. It's just sort of doing a direct route through. So if we divert it to come out this way, and then on its way back, maybe divert it again to come through that way. Then hopefully we can reduce the traffic that's going through here. We will be sending it this way instead, but that may well be fine. Um, yeah, so that's a lot less coming down this way. We got the cargo line, which could probably be diverted if we really wanted to. Again, these are some old roads. <laughs> they need to be uh, upgraded. Oh, look at that. We're actually making money again. <laughs> I don't believe it. That is a really good uh, omen. Hopefully, it stays that way because it's been a lot of work putting all this in. And I don't want to have to, I don't know, maybe have to remove it all out. Um, that being said, we did just, did just sell a bunch of vehicles. About 16 millions worth. Um, but in general, these are quite positive numbers compared to what they were before, which is good. It's really good. Um, hopefully, reducing the amount of traffic that comes down this way has calmed down these um, lines a little bit. We can hope. We'll just have to keep an eye on them. Wow, look at this. Only 64 shopping facilities in that, like, huge skyscraper. That's bizarre. It's kind of like an L-shaped one. Interesting little building. Anyway, um... <laughs> We have some really big buildings in Bogomarsh. It's nice to see. Got 32 in that huge building. I think 32 would fit in like this bit alone, but that's just me. Um, I'm not here to judge. 
I'm just here to play. Cool. Hopefully, these train lines are going to start making a little bit more money. Um, if we take a look at the interlink lines, it comes and goes for that one. That one's making a good amount of money. Again, it's positive, which is nice to see. Making money. Making a lot of money. Making money. Making money. And making money. So maybe all that we really needed to do was to reduce the amount of reliance on those um, all lines <laughs> because they just weren't really doing the job. Um, so that's really reassuring to to see, to be honest with you, to see it all coming through. What we do need to do is make sure that this line can take all of its <laughs> uh, cargo. So if we swap this out, it's probably going to change a and not make money now. Um, no, my luck. So if we just take it a little bit, f no, keep it on the lower end of good. See how that changes, because it's got to take stuff both directions. This line. Where is that train? It's on its way back down, taking oil. So it is coming through. We just need to keep an eye on it. Ah, oh, it's good to be back in back in the black and not, you know, potentially going bankrupt in the game. Um, that's definitely a weight off my shoulders. Um, we do need to keep an eye on this because. Quite frankly, this is a very big train now, and if it doesn't start shifting all of that oil, all of that crude oil, then we might have a bit of a problem in that it might be just struggling to get up the hill. So we need to keep an eye on it. So let's just watch it work its way through. So it's going to drop off the oil that it's picked up. So this is where it starts to make its ascent up the hill. Let's just speed things up a little bit just to see what happens. So it's getting up to 30. I think the last train got up to about 40 miles an hour and then it couldn't do any more. So still stuck at about 38 miles an hour. If that's all it can do I mean, there's not much we can do about it, but 36 miles an hour, struggling to get up this hill. I mean, it's quite a steep hill, to be fair. I mean, if we look... It's gone up to 42 now. 43, 44. And it's taking 320 crude oil. So hopefully this will... It's definitely picking up speed going down here. So 
here it has to stop. Which is a bit of a shame. So it seems to be stopping because stuff is transferring through. So that should now be making its way back down here. Is this getting all of its supplies through? I mean, some of these, no. Apparently 154 is coming from there. It's probably something to do with the gondola lines being quite busy. I just made quite a bit of money. It's still pretty full. Maybe we need more vehicles on the gondola lines. I mean, they're making a lot of money. This is a bit of a nightmare. In fact, this is full on stuck. Um, shit. What if we upgraded that way? So then these ones have to go through this way rather than that way. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is a problem. Probably because we have so many vehicles just coming down to this point. If we could somehow reduce the dependency on this pass through. It might help. Is that even being used anymore? It's not. Which means it could be a way around this. So if we come out from there, and then we can turn this way. We can connect in down this direction. So, uh, I don't think that's necessarily going to fix anything on its own. But what we potentially could do is connect in through this way. So, if we delete this out a little bit and then go probably underneath is the best. option for us here. Go around, going flat, all up. So then can go straight out from here. Connect in there. Uh, 
What was that delivering coal? Where was it going to? Over here. Maybe having it go down this way might be a better... tactic. So instead of number two... Why is it not bringing up? What? Oh. Because we had interlink uh, filtered, it wasn't coming up. All right. There, go that way, because then you're not going through <laughs> this lot. Um, and then from here, you just deliver down here, don't you? Yeah, deliver down here instead. Is this a better spot for you to deliver to? And then, do we have anything actually delivering there? No, we don't. That's good. We can reduce that down. In terms of um, what's going through there. These lines need to be going a slightly different direction. So if we put a waypoint here for it to go out this way, can we have one that comes back through here? So will that be used at all? I think it's still coming through down here, which is a bit of a pain. Um, Okay, it's the same problem that we had with Burglar Marsh. All everything's trying to go through here. We just have to um, control it a little bit better. What we could do is have street entrance there. So then that would allow a different way through for some of the um, trams. So if we maybe do an in and an out here, that could reduce how much is going on this road. So if, for example, we have that's not traffic lighted, is it? No, good. Before number three, it goes through here. Which one's this one? Number five. After number five goes out this way. But please do still use number ten. Um, this one before number one goes in this way. Before or after that one, rather, goes out this way.
come back through this way. Go back out this way. Uh, go out this way. Go in this way. Ah. Okay, um... Go out this way. Go in this way. Oh, wow, that's completely flipped the route that it was going. Um, okay. Cool, I think. Hopefully that should be a little bit more clean of a route through. Do we have a lot of stuff just going out here? This quadrant, for example. Maybe we just have it come in after that bit. So it doesn't go down here because I mean it's already connected to this, so we don't really need it to go that way. Um, same with coming it out as well. Yeah, that goes that way through. That's a little bit more efficient. So what else is here? Uh, we got this one, which we want to go through this direction. Hopefully that might have made a slight change and things might start moving here now. So we can actually start to make some much needed improvements. This way. What? Again, it's all coming through here, and we don't want that. Um, what we could do is force it up here on its way back through. Oh, no, that's the wrong way around. I was wondering why that was. All 
Right, okay, swap this over to number one. Why is it not coming out this way? <laughs> It's almost choosing to go down the bottleneck. And then on its way back it could go out this way. Which may help. Let's just take out the tram lines here. So now stuff's going through there. We have this go out this way rather than that way. We could. I don't know whether it would really make that much of a difference. Um, that might. Because then we've got two lanes able to go through. I'm quite surprised that not more is using those um, lanes that we put in. Maybe if we continued this road down. So if we just flip the priority a little bit, so if we do a connection there, and then this comes through from there in that direction and then we can do this going in that direction as well all of a sudden a lot more is wanting to go out this way probably because this road's a bit beefier um, can we upgrade that road? yes we can it through right what are the stops doing along here because we don't actually have any here, do we? Let's take these two out. Put them in there. Fingers crossed that might have done the trick, actually. Because it looks like a lot more stuff is deciding to go through the other way. Which is good.
might do well to put bus lanes through this road. In fact, let's do that. Because we've got a lot going through there. And then hopefully with the bus lanes it means that the traffic can go through a little bit easier. Again, we've got the um, dual road here. It just stops for some reason. Can't upgrade that one because of that one. Nope, we can't upgrade that one because of this down here. So now. Should be able to upgrade that through. And we have so hopefully. That will fix some of the uh, traffic issues that we've had down here. Um, if we just double check the different routes through, this one's literally just going all the way through down to here. Is this even used anymore? I don't think it is. Um, let's take that out it through this way. And we've got tram lines up to here. Might as well upgrade this bit. And then stuff that can come through there. So if we put a stop here then hopefully that line I mean a lot of stuff's coming down this way what isn't? this isn't probably because it needs to go up there It's all coming down this way. That may well just go down that way um, without the 
points. If we take these out, which route does it go? It goes that way anyway. So that's good. That means that we are making progress here. Um, what about upgrading these roads through? Oh, we haven't put this road back in. Not that it really matters. Nothing comes out this way. So that's absolutely fine. I tell you what, we are making a lot of money and some of these could almost do with another train on them. But I am very relieved <laughs> that that has made it a lot more efficient and make a lot more money. In fact, even the tank car lines making a little bit of money, which is good. Um, so I think I'm going to leave this one here. Um, let me know what you think with your thumbs. If your thumbs do not cut it, then let me know what you think with a comment. If a comment is simply not enough, then consider subscribing, consider sharing. It's... Uh, it's all very much appreciated. I do attempt to um, reply to every comment. Can't make a promise, of course, um, but I will do my darn damnedest to, to reply to you. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, have a good one. Goodbye.